Good night. Before I sing, hold the fort. Defend your government. Defend your government. Defend your government. Where the bands? Because I'm connected to labor. Yes, I'm connected to labor. Full confidence. Full confidence. Full confidence in this labor government. I another one. I bet I know this one. On election day, we vote in labor all the way. So tell them all it again, all it again. On election day, I love my PM. I love my PM. I love my PM. And that is all of them problem. Oh, my comrades, see the signal waving in the sky. Reinforcements now appearing, victory is nigh. Hold the foot, for I am coming. Jesus, signal still, and let us wave the answer. Back to heaven by thy grace we will See the mighty host advancing Satan leading on Mighty ones around us fallen Courage almost gone Hold the foot for I am coming, Jesus said no still, and let us wave the answer back to heaven by thy grace we will. Fierce along the battle raging, but our help is here. Onward come a great commander, cheer my comrade, cheer. Hold the foot, for I am coming. Jesus said no still, and let us wave the answer back to heaven by thy grace we will. And let us wave the answer Back to heaven by thy grace we will live a big Comrades of labor, labor sweet, labor nice, labor good. You see, labor young people, give Miss Willett a round of applause. Oh, my comrades. Rascal, give me the thing there. You want to say that labor is good for this entire country? The entire country, and I mean that, you know, labor is not only good. For labor people, labor is good for the whole country. Labor is good for Pam, they don't even know it. Labor is good for business. Labor is good for everyone. That is why this country needs a labor government. Well, I am a young woman who believes in fairness, justice, and equality, which is why I completely agree with the views of the Honorable Sam Kondo that the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party is not just good for Labour people alone, but for the whole Federation, whether you are PAM, CCM, NRP, UPP, or Labour people. As, As youth of this country, we give support to the Labour Party and call on all young people. Yes, all young people. Yes. 
all young people. All our young people need to do likewise. The, the Labour, Labour Party, Party government, government was, is, and will always be dedicated to empowering the people of Sinkis and Nevis through education, youth development, housing and land ownership, employment, and, and much more. Labour for everybody! Yes, Full sir. confidence! <laughs> Give the young people a round of applause. They say labor is good for all the people. Labor good for business. Labor good for young people. Labor good for all the people. Labor is a party of inclusion. Comrades, we can move along. Labor good for hug and all, they say. Good for hug and all. Comrades, we can move along. We can move along with the leader. We can move along with our prime minister. We can move along with the man of the moment. The man who holding this party together. The man who put in the transition from this leadership to the next leadership. The Honorable Dr. Denzel Douglas, the Prime Minister of this country. The Federation leader. Our leader. Your leader. The Caribbean leader. Welcome to the microphone. The Honorable Prime Minister. The roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. Follow the leader. citizens, those of the working class, the middle class and the wealthy who are listening to us, this is your party, the St. Gitz Nevis Labour Party, the party of France, of Bradshaw, of Southwell, of Sebastian, of Brian, of Penn. This is your party, the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party. Comrades, we are here on Bank Street. A few weeks and months ago, I walk in through here doing my usual business on a Friday. I see some people in yellow clothes, damn cowards in yellow. Want to say that they keep meeting. People like wash out washy on the platform. A man named Beach also on the platform from Canada. Look at this now we are. Look at these thousands of people. This is a meeting. Tell them, Douglas say, as of tonight, we take over Bank Street. One step ahead. On the boys' head. One step 
out of style. Leave badness for Douglas Watley and Gran. Comrades, we are so pleased to be here with you tonight. I want to say to you that labor is the movement of a people. The movement of a people. We move in big and large whenever we move. And we move our people through the barriers that have been placed in our way over the years. We refuse to remain poor. We said we want to work and earn what we want. And labor has provided the opportunity to move. And those who are working class and want to be in the middle class, you have a right to. Labor will make sure that you move and your children move. That is why Marcella did something earlier. Those who were the children or who are the children of those who used to work in the cane fields. They are now running the hotels, the stores, their own businesses, the taxes. Those on the beach now doing the massages and braiding the hair. What do you think? Labor has moved them through the ranks. That is why I say, man and man like Ike, the movement of a people is what labor is. This government good. good. Hey, this government nice. Good government. Boy, let's go. Comrades, this government is good. All that we know to do is good. We have been here for 18 years and 18 years of doing good. So much good that the people now say, Douglas and Labour, don't go nowhere, stay and continue to do good. This government good. good. Hey, this government nice. Good government. And that is why I say to you, you know, when you know you're good, talk about you good and the man and them um, have a nice woman they say she good boy she good and when the woman them have a good man they say boy he good you know he good labor good that is why i say to you always remember no matter where you be talk first Talk first about labor and its goodness. Talk hard about labor and its goodness. Talk long about labor and its goodness. Talk last about labor and its goodness and then talk again. Comrades, you have a good party. And those in this country, they know it, you know. All of them who criticize us know that labor is a good party, has been doing good for the people of this country. 
comrades. It was at this very spot that labor again demonstrated how visionary it is. Because you see, labor is not so much of the past, you know. Labor is not only so much of what it's doing today, you know. Labor is visionary. Labor is of the future. Labor is about young people. You see all those young people who came up here tonight. You think Pam or the pippy people could ever do anything like that? They're not pippy up themselves. The pippy people can't do it. Pam can do it. Labor only can do it with young people. None of them, none of them. Not one of them. Only labor can do it. Seven months ago, at this very spot here on Bank Street, labor demonstrated its vision for our people. Labor realized we were caught up in the whirlwind of a continuing recession, global recession. All over the world, banks are closing down. Big, big business is closing. Housing market collapse in America. It affects Europe, Africa, Asia, all over the world being affected by the global financial and economic crisis. Hospitals closed down in the United States of America as if they're closing down a store. Schools being closed down because the U.S. government has no money to continue to keep them open. What does St. Kitts and Nevis do? Eh? We came here seven months ago and we announced to the world that we will want to bring opportunities to our young people. And we launched the People Employment and Empowerment Program. We said we are going to bring the pep into the step of young people. Today, you try to get into the bank. You got to be in a line outside. The youths, them inside there, I change the check. Youth empowerment on the labor. That's what it is all about. Visionary. People connected. Caring. Understanding what we have to do to take us where we want to go. Labor is what is doing that. And today, 2,000 young people and others, among them, over hundreds, I would say, of women involved in that. Each of them now able to have their own paycheck. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you all something. You are getting 320. It is minimum wage. But just on Wednesday, my cabinet has said the time to review salaries and wages is now. Said only the pep attendees that are gonna get pep in the step. The civil servant as well, they're gonna get pep in the step. Because we believe 
that this is the movement of a people. We got to move. We got to move up. We got to move forward. And so we want everybody in this country to be pepping in their step. Nobody going to slow us down. Nobody going to break us down. Nobody going to slow me. See what I tell you all, you know. I told you all months ago when we had the new economic development plan. I told you we had to do certain things if we were going to move forward. We said we got to bring down that Bamanko debt right down. Got to come down. Gotta come down. It was 200% of GDP. Thank God last week it went down to 100% of GDP. Now we can move forward. One step ahead. On the boys head. One step ahead. On the boys head. One step ahead. One step ahead. So how are they going to stop us? So how are they going to stop us? How the hell are they going to stop us? How are they going to stop us? One step ahead. On the boys head. One step ahead. On the boys head. And so I emphasize. We are moving upward and forward. Comrades, the vision is what they don't have. Sometimes I ask God, but Lord, why you only give labor all the vision and none for them? You know what I say? Because labor is my people. I'll win them try fight me. Me know them not like me. So me praise more and more. We want to make it clear that labor has a vision for our country's future. We are transforming the economy. We have been wed to tourism. From sugar agriculture to tourism and services. We have to go beyond that. We have to begin to see that agriculture must have a leading productive, as a leading productive sector in the future. That is why I say to you again. We are attracting people into agriculture. The old forms of agriculture, machete and hoe and pickaxe and so, them they done long time. We want hydroponics. We want green houses. We want shared houses. We want aquaculture. We want to make sure that we all we don't depend upon the rain. When it falls to irrigate our crops, we want crops all year round. And we shall do it as we transform agriculture. As Nigel takes agriculture from where Timothy had it backward, 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 take it way into the future. We want to make sure that we continue to give our young people the skills. Why do you think we have the pep? They are learning skills because within the next few months, the economy will be ticking over. Brand new five-star hotel being built at Christopher Harbor. 
the Koi Resort and Beach Condominium over there at Half Moon Bay and, and, and um, Connery. Two projects being unfolded. Significant development projects in the Dewars and Buckley's area. All over the country. Our small developers are now coming alive. And they will be empowering most of our people from the pep. Because they will now find permanent employment in these new creative establishments that we are putting forward. Comrades, we want to make sure that with our vision, giving every student in high school a laptop computer, that is the vision for the future. You know we can stay at home. Lie as long as you want in your bed. Turn your bedroom into your office. And there begin to roll out apps that can be sold to the rest of the world. The rest of the computer world. And you can be paid for your creativity and your knowledge that you would have acquired. That's our future in St. Kitts and Nevis. Comrades, I want to emphasize that we want to see engineers no longer going abroad and just studying electrical engineering. We want to see engineering using the renewable energy technology that will unfold here in St. Kitts and Nevis over the next 18 months. What on you will see? I'm talking about vision and future for labor and the people of this country. Comrades, we want to make sure that the ladies on the industrial estate no longer must their goods go to America, but they will be flooding the large, the fifth largest economy and market in the world. That is Brazil. That's why this week we went into parliament and we passed the partial scope agreement that will allow our electronic products to go throughout the world using Brazil as our main market from here onwards. That is vision. That is the future. That's what we're talking about. No longer must we have Electrofab closing down. Lutron letting off people. There must be hiring people in the future as we root the manufacturing sector into the productive economy of St. Kitts and Nevis. That is vision. That is our future. Comrades, I want to say to you that we know you have gone through some painful adjustment. But the painful adjustment, it was to have us a brighter future, a more envisaged future for you and your children as we move this great country forward and upward. Comrades, we call upon our social partners, the church, the community builders. You have your work to do. As we envisage St. Kitts and Nevis in the future. Our young people, they have strayed. They have strayed from the guidance of the church. They no longer have respect for the elders. In our new St. Kitts and Nevis on the labor, we must return to these We must return to God. We must know how to pray. And we must be our brother's keeper. That is St. Kitts in the future on the labor. That is St. Kitts today on the labor.
And that is why last week, Friday, the hearts of the people of St. Kitts and Nevis, their hearts bled, bled from this very spot. Bled from this very spot. When those who are trying to stop us and to slow us down, they began to preach violence from the platform of Pam last week, Friday. I say tonight, God, you are a good God. Protect us as we deliver to our people what you have wanted us to deliver. Imagine on a pump platform from this very spot last week, Friday, the chairman of the PP party. Douglas Watley, he had these words to say. And these words were issued after lawless Lindsey Grant, after taunting the police for almost an hour and a half, was eventually arrested. And what does the chairman of the PP party say? Are we not take it? You see, they ain't no. They just declared war on the people. They're so stupid. Every movement always need a symbol. And today... Lindsay is our symbol because Lindsay has taken a lockup for all of us. And then he continued, I want you to understand that a lot of us are probably going to get hurt. Some of us might even die. But we not take it. And so I suggest to Asim. I suggest to Douglas. I suggest to all of them. Who are inclined to want to stay in power by any means necessary. We are determined to take them out of power by any means necessary. My dear people, labor people ain't trouble nobody. Labor people ain't trouble nobody. As he may in trouble, Douglas Watley. Me for us, me in trouble, Douglas Watley. Well, 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 what Douglas want to want us to die for? Why? Why Douglas Wantley want to kill Douglas and ask him? Why? Why? What have we done to die at the hands of Douglas Wantley? What, I ask, have we done? Because we in labor and we doing good. Wicked I can't get me down. No, no. You know how far me I come from nothing to something me I work hard, yo. Comrades, it was a few weeks ago. Douglas Watley was in Keon. He was speaking on Dwyer Rastafan platform. And he said how much people he could kill. How he was trained to kill, not animals, you know. How he was trained to kill people in Afghanistan and Iraq, he said. And then Dwyer came on as the chairperson of the meeting. And Dwyer said after him, Douglas Watley has killed a lot of people. He said, Douglas Watley has killed a lot of people. 
comrades, my message to you tonight is serious. They are planning to eliminate us. But we're not afraid. We're not afraid of them. We ain't afraid of them at all. We're not afraid of them. You know what Dwayne Astafan wrote a week ago? He said, what the people in St. Kitts and Nevis should do is give Douglas a mercy. You know what, who mercy is? Mercy is the president of Egypt who was deposed and overthrown a week ago. And after he was deposed, the people of Egypt rose up, rose up in defense of President Marcy. And a few days ago, hundreds of them were killed. That is what Dwyer Rastafan want for St. Kitts and Nevis. For hundreds of bodies to be piled up in the streets of Bastille because he and Pam can't get us out by the ballot box. If Comrades, the other night, after the meeting of the National Assembly, they organized people to shoot up the home of the Honorable Curtis Martin, the Speaker of the National Assembly. Have you heard any condemnation? from other partners? Have you heard anything from the chamber? Have you heard anything from the Evangelical Association? Have you heard anything from the Christian Council? Have you heard anything from the Bar Association? Have you heard anything from the Hotel and Tourism Association? Have you heard anything from the Manufacturers Association? Nada, nada, nada. But we are a God-fearing people. We bless. We bless. Remember, your commander, he come from St. Paul's. He don't free at nobody. And so, they tell me to finish at 8 o'clock, I'm going to finish now. And so I say to you, as we leave this spot, this spot we are labor has brought its vision for our people seven months ago. One week ago, the other people are preaching violence and destruction here from Bank Street. I say to you, we shall return next week. God bless you. Thank you very, very much. Bruised and torn, but I'm still here. Some days my life was filled with fear. Oh. Comrades, we summon you 
to the heartland of labor on Thursday of next week. Saddlers! Saddlers, here we come! Warriors of Saddlers, here we come! Look. Oh.